This is a foam roller bridge. You're going to start with your heels on the foam roller, and as you scoop your butt up off the ground, you're going to roll the foam roller back towards you so that you end up on the midfoot on top of the foam roller. So my hips are up off the ground, and I'm pushing down through my midfoot, and I'm thinking about pulling the roller back towards me. Now there's various different intensities you can take into this exercise. If you feel like you're going to cramp up and you can't hold this for 10 seconds, you need to regress the activity. We're holding this from anywhere from 10 seconds to a minute long hold, depending on what we have programmed for you in the Sports Rehab Expert workouts. Now, two feet on the foam roller is the easiest. Again, starting at the heels and then rolling the foam roller back to you so that you finish on the midfoot and your foot is directly on top of the foam roller. So you're always pulling back on the foam roller. You are never pushing the foam roller out away from you. So if you feel your quads or the front of your thighs, you're not doing it correctly. You should feel your hamstrings or the back of your thighs. Now your hips aren't trying to go up as high as they possibly can. You're just scooping the tailbone and the butt cheeks up off the ground. Your low back can come off the ground a little bit, but your mid back or your thoracic spine or the lowest part of your rib cage, the small of your back should still be up, should still be down on the ground. Um, Again, if you feel your hamstring cramping, you might not want to lift your butt up off the ground quite as high, and you might not want to pull as aggressively back with your hamstrings, because again, we need to hold this for about 10 seconds to 30 seconds. Two legs, progressing eventually to one leg, and again, being able to hold for 10 seconds to at minimum 30 seconds before you progress any further. The hardest version of the foam roller hamstring bridge is with a long lever arm. So you walk the foam roller way out away from you, just about as far as you can go without completely straightening your knee. Again, the heels start on top of the foam roller. You roll the foam roller slightly back towards you so that you're on your midfoot, and then you're going to scoop your butt cheeks up off the ground, scoop your tailbone up off the ground. You won't have to go as high off the floor with this version. Um, it's going to be a lot more challenging because we have a longer lever arm, which is going to apply more load to your hamstrings and glutes. Again, two legs progressing to a single leg, 10 seconds to a minute long hold as tops. 30 seconds to 20 seconds is a good goal on a single leg for the majority of people to be able to reach that point in time.